Hello, YouTube! We're back for another video today. I'm Jake from Peyton B and their friend, and for our unpacking video today, I'm unpacking the stuff that I got today at the Pulaski County Public Library Crafters Fair and something else. But, um, yeah, guys, that's what I'm doing. Now, first, though, I must give context. For those of you who don't know, I'm a bit of a, um, businessman, per se. Well, more like I, I don't know, I guess run a division of Connie's creations, um, Link in the description. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so of course, as one does whenever you're a small local business selling cheap handmade stuff, you want to go to crafters fairs with $5 admission, right? Well, we went, and I can give you my full review. Holy moly, a review? Snuck in into an unboxing video? I can't believe it. And my honest review is that I'd give it a... I, man, I really don't want to say this, but I'm giving it a thumbs down. Because, you know, I... Man, I love my local library. But... Man, y'all just... I don't think y'all know how to set up a crafter's fair, honestly, because most vendors there, I'd say, would agree with me in that, first off, it was hardly advertised, so that affects our customer base, if not as many people are coming in, and also, some of the table arrangements were not ideal, for customer viewing, so that's another thing. That one, I don't know how they could have fixed that, but that's just something to mention because I heard people complaining out loud about that, which honestly, I give a round of applause to those people for just outright stating what they was thinking, but... <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, overall, too, there was hardly anyone who showed up. Like, the first hour is whenever we made the majority of our money. And after that, it just, like, it just completely fell off. Now, full transparency, you know, full business transparency. Um, We only made $40. Yeah, which is, um, that's not good considering that, first off, we did leave early because we was not making any money, really, but, also, though, we did bring in quite a lot of stuff, too, so overall is pretty disappointing. I hope next year they're gonna have their stuff straight, which I hope they do. Because as many people that were complaining, you know, I'm sure they're probably going to take some of that criticism to heart. But, yeah, guys, as a civil vendor does, you look at what other vendors have to offer. And oh boy, do I have the offerings today. This, we will just ignore this. For now, um, just place that over here. Um, now let's just, that goes with this, let's just get this out of our unboxing basket. Move that over here. And let's see what treasures we found today. I will admit I was not very impressed with a lot of the other vendors there, but these people, 
Man, I, I've got something to show y'all today. I really do. Whenever I seen these, I was absolutely just taken aback. And I'm going to preface by saying everything I say for this segment is not going to be sarcasm. Okay? Now, we had someone selling art. <laughs> not just any art, though. Art that their kid drew, and the kid wanted to sell. Which, <laughs> man, I always love that. You gotta start being an entrepreneur early, but... Okay, here we got, um... It was a dollar. We got it for 50 cents, because it was on sale. We got the prices just written on the drawing. Honestly, that's, um... That's quite the move. Uh, here we have, um... Average Gangster. Now that there, that is a... Pixie stick. <laughs> and we got a Nerf gun. And all these are signed too, so. Man, I mean. This is just. <laughs> great. Honestly. And then. Next, we've got one for 25 cents. We got Smile Every Day. Honestly, this one, this face here is pretty relatable. And next we got, um, <laughs> we got another one on sale. I, I was only carrying like $2 at the time, okay? So, admittedly, might have been cheaping out a little bit, but... <laughs> There, there was some pretty tough competition, okay? Because some of the other ones were also just pretty wowing. We got chill vibes only. Which, honestly, I agree with this one so much. And next one here, this one might just be my favorite, honestly. Because, man, Joe Biden, Trump... Cornell West, Andy Bashirs, and even Brent Peterson. Man, they ain't got nothing for the 2024 election. Because here we got Mr. Politics. I mean, honestly. I'm just... I... I don't even have words for this. I was like, whenever I seen this, I was literally just so amazed by the absolute boldness to go to an event and decide that this is what's going to be sold. Because some of the other stuff at the event, there was some... There was quite the competition. I mean, there was people selling paintings there for $200. But you know what? Honestly, like in my actual honest opinion, I, I mean, I would drop like a good $5 on these. Because the work that this like probably elementary school kid is doing here is very bold. And I'm quite the admirer of it. <laughs> because also the style here is just clearly an I don't give a heck about what other people think attitude. And I'm loving it. <laughs> so, oops. So, yeah, that is what we've got here for these. Which. <laughs> Honestly, I think this was probably the only thing there that actually caught my eye. Because a lot of other stuff at this event was just your typical, 
you know, um, crafters fair stuff, you know, you got the crocheted stuff, you got the painted stuff, you know, you've got the wood carved stuff. There was a lot of that there for some reason, but yeah, honestly, you know, I'd say good on them for them people being there. I don't know how successful they was, but I hope they had more success than we did. All right, next we've got this set here. It is from the same people, but made by a different kid. Now let's take a look here. First, we've got a Pikachu loom bracelet, which honestly, the guy selling this said that he tried a technique for this and it just didn't work out. Which honestly, I understand because I also make loom bracelets and sometimes I just screw up too. But you know what? This did actually turn out pretty nicely though. And plus, I do like the Pikachu charms. That's a big reason why I got them. Because I do like Pikachu. Okay, next, we got a Pikachu keychain. Which, honestly, you know, keychains in a jewelry set, that's not something that I've seen much of. But I think we need more of it. Because I'm definitely a keychains person. And, yeah, I'd say I like that one too. And next, we got earrings. In which, honestly, I do have my ears pierced, but I'm not very much of an earrings wearer. But these, though, these are cute. Which, honestly, the only bad thing that I have to say is that this here, as you can see, it is backwards. But, honestly, I've made earrings backwards, too. So I know how to fix it. So I'll be fine. And that set there, that was four dollars. And you know what? Say what you want, but I think I got my money's worth out of it. And I'd say with my purchases here, I'm a happy customer. Considering that especially, I think that's something that the event did have a lack of was any actual creativity or a creative drive beyond just wanting to get a quick buck. So, yeah, I might be looking into this too deeply, but this is a YouTube video. I give my opinions and you get to watch my opinions. Okay, so I gotta clear this stuff out of the way real quick because this here bag is quite the mess. Now for context, um, the library does have 3D printing now. They did get a 3D printer. If you go like down to like the teen department, you know, they got a, they got a 3D printer. Honestly, I don't know too much about the details, and everyone there also does not know too much about the details, because whenever I brought this up to pay them, they, they didn't even know what they was looking at, which I wouldn't have either. But basically, I handed in a model, and I was like, you know, can you print this? And they was like, yeah, you know, we, we print this. And, um, yeah, poor guy, I, mean, I almost feel bad for, like, giving this model to be printed because this guy had, like, major issues with it and was literally like, please don't bring in stuff and pieces again, which I will not be because, you know, I think if someone did that to me, I'd also be pretty annoyed as a fellow 3D printer owner, but 
Yeah, as proof that I um paid this, I even got a receipt. I'm not too sure why, honestly, but yes, I did pay. A $20 bill. Um, you can call me a bad Samaritan, but I, man, like, honestly, that's all I was carrying because I had to scrounge around in my wallet to see what I had, and I thought I had a 10, but I didn't. But I got $10 back in cash, so, um, yeah. At least, at least they had change. I would have felt really bad if they didn't. But, yeah, let's see what I paid $10 to have 3D printed. I, I don't even know how they figured that price, honestly. And I'm not too sure if I want to know. Because I'm a bit scared to know. First thing I'm taking off here is that there is a sticky note on the back of the um, bag here that had my name. And then it just had $10 written on it. So <laughs> we're not going to show that on YouTube because I respect my privacy. Okay, so we just get all our pieces out here. This is going to be a little bit hard to show off for you guys. I'm sorry, but this came in a multitude of pieces. If you're questioning what you're looking at, I will explain. Um, yeah, I was not kidding whenever I said that it was in pieces. It actually came in more pieces originally, but we tried assembling it while we was literally sitting there vending, which did not work out too well for us, but yes, now, let me show you guys. Here we got our legs, um, I'm sure all the leg people here in the audience are very enthused. This here is our base in which I have no clue how it's how the chair is really supposed to sit on here. Um, yeah, you know, part of this can be definitely attributed to me. But also... I, I mean, I do kind of question if this model was sliced right. Because I'm not the one who sliced it. I just handed in the STL files and was like, yeah, print this. And I was like, oh, sure. And, yeah. Um, okay, there we go. And then, the... This here, I did have to E6000 the hands here because the pegs for them snapped out. And also a finger here. You can actually tell a little bit here if I get it close enough. But um, yeah, a finger outright just like snapped off. Um, yeah, and then... I did also have to E6000 the bangs on because they were not really staying. So, yeah, here we go. This is our, um, here it is. Yeah, it is Makima off of the hit manga Chainsaw Man. I don't know if the guy printing actually knew the character, um, probably, because I did not, I did not choose the color for it to be printed in, but, um, yeah, overall, I was, um, honestly, I was pretty conflicted, because, I don't know, the... 
there's just like a whole lot of like issues that can be blamed on like a multitude of people. You can blame the model, you can blame the slicer, you can blame me. I mean, you can blame just about anyone. But honestly, you know what? I'd say at the end of the day, though, there's a stick tag, I don't know why, but um, I'd say at the end of the day, though, this will be going in my anime figure case. So this is going to be the first 3D printed model to be going in there. I haven't put any of my own in there yet, because I haven't printed too many. But... Yeah, I don't know. I'd say she's, um, she's quite something because there are a lot of parts that I like, but those parts are definitely fighting with the parts that I do not like. And as you can see here, there is a leg. Don't know what happened there, but... Let's just see what the figure looks like real quick with that. Just because I think it would be a little funny to show off on YouTube. Just to see. Because this was the first attempt legs here. I don't know what the printer did. Don't know what the printer was thinking. Since I am not a printer. And... Yeah, I don't know. Let's just see what's up. If I can get that back on there. Yeah, um... <laughs> she looks a bit strange there. Yeah, honestly, I'm not too sure what to do with that piece. But I will be keeping it just for the sheer comedic value of it. I just think it's funny that the printer managed to mess that up. I don't know how. And I swear, our printer too has made some very strange mistakes. But I don't have the mind of a printer, so I will never know why they did that. Let's just get this back together here. Yeah, and before anyone asks, because as my viewers will know, I have an infatuation with noodle stopper figures. You can see that she is in a sitting position, which would be good for a noodle stopper figure, but there is a couple problems. You see, first off, she is a bit bigger than your typical noodle stopper. And another thing, too, is that she is very lightweight. And also here, her sitter is not flattened as with a... Um, figure that would like sit on a shelf would be because it is the chair here that is supposed to be fitting for her. Well, I guess um, she can call herself the Bloody Queen. Okay, um, just try to get that back on there. All right. Yeah, and I mean also too. You can actually display her without that base, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think I will display her with the base. Like, nothing against the base. I think it actually turned out very well printed. And, like, the chair here, it has, um... I don't know, again, don't know what the printer did... But, yeah, but our base here, I don't know how it turned out so nice. Like, I was actually, like, very impressed. Like, because this actually 
looks like something that you could pull out of a factory that actual anime figures are made in. So, yeah, overall, I'd say if this was something that I printed at home, um, excuse the foul language to my, um, Facebook friends, but, um, I would be pissed if it did this to me, but since I had the poor library do it and I gave them their $10, it is okay because they got paid, you know, and I got my figure, so all is good at the end of the day. And also, I will bring up our other little pieces here. Oops, I bumped the camera. Um, this here is supposed to be the whip. That's why her um, arms here are in a bit of a strange position. It's because she's supposed to be holding this. But whenever I tried to like get her to hold it, this part here it just completely snapped. And with how brittle this is, it's definitely very brittle. I'm not too sure why, but yeah, I just didn't want to take any chances. So I think what I am going to do is, I don't know, I'm probably going to use like, you know, the stuff that um, necklaces are made out of, the kind of chain stuff. I can't remember what it's called, even though I'm a jewelry maker, but um. Yeah, I could just use that to kind of give the illusion that she's supposed to be holding something. Illusion, I know, but... I mean, also... You know, it would make sense, since her character does have something to do with chains. Actually, that is a manga spoiler. I'm so sorry to my viewers that have not seen the Chainsaw Man manga, but I would recommend it. Because as per usual, with all anime, the manga is always better. That's why half the time, I don't watch anime. Okay, and then our next part here, we have a face part in which... Honestly, I'm like... I'm not 100% sure what got printed wrong. Because I didn't have a chance to try to get the this back hair piece onto that because it was very hard to get it on to here and I did not glue it because I don't think it will be coming off anyway so yeah honestly I'm not really too sure what happened but probably something happened and it is for the better that that Mishap is not a part of my knowledge. Let's try to get that back on there. We'll do one more view. Yes, I'm, um... I don't know. I'd say I'm quite amazed with this in the, like, somewhat sarcastic sense. I mean, I'm just more so amazed by all the events that led up to this, you know, I bring in STL files, and I'm like, eh, print this, you know, I see that the printer had quite a few hiccups, and I'm like, oh, wowzers, and then I walk up to the front desk, and with, with a straight face, I'm like, I'm here to pay for this 3D printed model. And it was still in the bag, so they was looking at me like, what the hell? But, yeah, she will definitely be a prized part of the figure case, which, um, before anyone asks, no, I will only be displaying her in the figure case because she is very, very, very fragile. 
And I've had some pretty fragile figures before, so I'd say this is probably the most fragile. I'm gonna give it some E6000 so that it stays together. But, like, even with these fingers here, I don't want any more of them to end up breaking off, you know? So, yeah. That'll be it for the video. And in my... In my takeaway for this video, guys, make sure you go support your local library. I don't know how many of my YouTube viewers actually do go to the Pulaski County Public Library. But you know what? I'd say 99% of the time, they know what they're doing. Occasionally, they do not. But... And that's as expected with everyone. So, yes, go support them. And if you want them to 3D print something for you, uh, make sure that it's not in 15 different pieces because they will probably scoff at you and then have flashbacks to the one idiot named Jake who brought in this and yeah guys um have a good day um check out books and please for the love of goodness bring them out at a reasonable time because i have five reserved books and some of them i've been waiting over a month on and I, I mean, I don't know, but if you check out books, please, for the love of God, bring them back on time. And yeah, guys, that's it for the video. Bye!